welcome to programming knowledge so this is our ninth tutorial of our Django series so I again welcome you all to programming knowledge so this is the ninth, tut ninth tutorial and we are going to work with images so this is going to be very interesting tutorial and going to be very a quick one so so I will tell you that in this tutorial I have already defined a path with my image page 3 and already defined a function in wish.py file and already defined an html page so i would di directly operate on this so you can check out the code on the github repository as well so what we are going to do here yeah, you can see here you can see my uh, this is my views.py file and i've already defined my image page 2 uh, page 3 page 4 so what we are going to do we are going to start our local server which is already started and inside my local server i would move to this route my image page 3 so i'll show you some interesting fact about this so this is our image page and here you can see that i have defined a row okay i have defined a row and above that i have defined a container fluid with the heading image page 3 and inside the row there are four columns of width medium 3 each so here you can see 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 12 and this satisfies our basic requirement of the bootstrap column query so here it shows 12 columns so here you can see 3 3 3 3 is equal to 12 and as soon as I press ctrl shift I you can see you can see okay okay and the, here you can see that this is the source code uh, okay and let me click right click and click inspect yeah here it is row column width of 3 3 3 3 and this is on medium device as soon as i click on galaxy s5 it will all collapse and will uh, move up to a scroll view and this would bring the response in nature okay let me move to the m uh, image page 4.html this is where going to be very interesting here you can see the key difference uh, you need to observe a key difference here that here I had defined medium 3 MD I had defined a class inside the bootstrap which was defined in the grid system as well I'll show you in the grid system yeah here it is this was small SM MD LG Excel when I have not defined any class whether it is medium md sm small excel extra large i have all uh I'll, I'll move to this here you can see i have defined medium in this my image page 3.html but now when i move to my image page 4.html i have not defined any class so here you can see the gap so they there i have not defined any class here so you can have a view for it so this is called md3 and this is only called 4 you can make it as 3 as well this is called 4 or okay so when here 4 plus 4 plus 4 is equal to 12 and now when I move to my image page 4 okay this is my image page 4 here you can see this is 4 I'll click on inspect okay uh, okay I'll show you one thing this is row 4 four four okay but i told you that i have not defined any class here whether it is a medium small extra large now when i move to galaxy s5 here you can see the magic now you here it also stays as four four and four so this wizard up to 12 and this was the uh, uh, difference i wanted to show you in the my image page 4.html that here i have not defined like this is page 3 i have not defined any class here uh, sorry in this i have defined a class in my image page 3.html i have defined a class but image page 4.html i have not defined any class and when i move to my uh, uh, image page 4.html this is 4 plus 4 plus 4 but as soon as i move to a smaller device it still remains it still remains 444 four, four. it does not collapse so this is that if for every device you want this structure then you don't define a class then it bootstrap will automatically maintain this structure okay now we are going to do one thing one small exercise uh, 
this is going to be uh, quick okay i'll define my image page 5 okay i'll be quick with this image page 5 okay now i'll move to my templates okay i'll move to my templates this is my template i'll quickly copy this uh, paste it here image page 5.html this is image page 5.html i'll quickly wrap up this content inside the row i'm already okay and i'm already left with the row and inside my views.py file okay now inside my views.py file i'll define my image page 5 i'll copy this and here you can see and this is going to be 5 and this is 4 okay and this is going to be 5 and i'll change the heading here so this here you can see this is the benefit of using blade template engine you can quickly define your templates okay now i'll move to 5 okay now this looks fine this is this is an empty page okay but now inside my urls.py file i will be taking a string parameter with the image name okay i will be taking a string parameter with the image name image name and inside my views.py file you know if you have any doubt regarding how you take parameter inside a url you can refer to my previous tutorial so image name is going to be my new parameter okay and what i'm going to do i'll define a variable image name will take this parameter image name okay let me define this as my image my image name okay and if okay uh, and i'll uh, perform another operation my image name this is a simple python python function i'm using my image name dot uh, first what i'll do is is going to, i'm going to type cast this as a string parameter and i'll use my image date name dot lower and i'll first print this my image name okay this is pretty fine okay this looks pretty fine okay now i'll move to my image page 5 and i'll type django okay so here you can see i have print printed django on my local machine and what i'm going to do i'm going to define a dictionary okay before this or maybe what we can do okay i'll take a variable where and i'll in give it a default value or we can do one thing if my image name is equal to django then var is equal to true lf my image name is equal to python where is equal to false okay or you can do uh, or maybe uh, or let me uh, you can do one thing where is equal to false and now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a, my dictionary my dictionary and i'll pass where as where okay now context is equal to my dictionary okay this looks pretty fine till here and i'll save this so my server is running okay now when i'll move to my image page 5.html so what i'm going to do is i'll quickly copy 
the image syntax here or what I'm going to trying to do I'll show you that this is uh, uh, you can copy this okay okay yeah this fine this is fine and I'll define as 12 okay uh, for your convenience you can use it as call md12 and in another one but before this I'll type percent if var I'll use this block else else I'll use this block and I'll end this with the end if person and if okay this looks pretty fine and I'll copy this and quickly paste it here okay uh, first I need to check my backend part what was it uh, I'll move to my use.py file if var is equal to true then I need to be true then I need to get the Django image if var is equal to false I need to get a Python image okay so this is fine and this would be python.em python.png okay so this looks pretty fine and looks interesting as well okay now I would type Django so here you can see I got the Django image and Python yeah I got a Python image so this looks pretty fine and uh, here what I'm going to show you that this is the magic I want to tell you that I can render two images on a single route maybe I'll type Django with the capital letters okay here it is come because I had used the functions lower I'll move to my fuse.py file okay I'll, I'll close other things and open my views.py file okay uh, I had used the lower function okay if my image name is equal to Django where is equal to true else it's false okay so maybe uh, when I type Python with capital letters I'll get this so this looks pretty awesome you can uh, maybe I can do also type this as capital D small Django and capital G and small O Django this also works so this is great so here I told you that with, with simple backend logic you can render multiple images on your front-end application so guys I'll catch I'll catch up you in the next lecture so thank you guys and once again welcome to programming knowledge